class here at Prep Kitchen today, and we're doing mushrooms. Um, and mush and mushrooms are one of those things that I absolutely adore because of their 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 meat-like flesh and their big flavors. Well, um, it just so happens that it just makes it reminds me of being a child, and maybe eating a little bit of that dirt, which we all know we did. Um, I just, it, I love the earthy flavor of it. I don't like to wash my mushrooms. If they're a little gritty, I kind of deal with it. Yeah, I don't like um, water. Water absorbs into the mushroom, which makes it soggy. Not only that, they, they absorb all that water and it's hard to get a nice, great sear on them. So what I never do is I never wash mushrooms. Uh, I'll wipe them off to make sure they don't have any funk on them, but I never wash them, never put water on them. It's much more like a, who's that? I'm doing an interview here. <laughs> you know, I never really made a horrible meal where I could not eat it. There's been ingredients where I'm like, eh, maybe that would be great, maybe this wouldn't. But I would just experiment. I just love to find stuff that I don't know what it is, and I cook with it. And I, and I think that if if you have that, um, if you just have that willing to just experiment, then I think that you, anybody anybody could be a great chef. Harvey Gus Meats is in LA. I don't know his exact address, but that's where I shot actual the sizzle reel for meat and potatoes. He's an old school gray haired butcher and he's probably the best butcher I've ever met. It's Harvey Gus Meats in Los Angeles. Still around and it's got a back door. Very, doesn't even have a sign. It's bomb, bomb, bomb. Guy comes out in a coat with a bunch of blood on it. He's got the old style, you know, hooks. He's got the dry aging thing. And uh, you know, it's not weird for you hanging out there and seeing some famous chefs come to the door themselves. Be like, hey Harvey, yeah. You know what I think is going to be big is brisket's going to come back in a big, in a big, big way. Um, brisket, oh yeah, organ meats, whole heads, um, kind of fun, you know. I, uh, they're not very well, um, tongue, tongue's a great one. Uh, beef tongue, have you ever had beef tongue? I think that's a great beef tongue soup is great. Oxtail is really fun. Um, and, uh, you know, those long, slow braised cuts, maybe uh, the four shank and stuff like and that. Wild boar, I do anything with wild boar, I treat it like I would do pig. So you can do wild boar barbecue. So it, it is a pig basically, right? So spare ribs, wild boar, I call them barracho wild boar spare ribs that are braised in a hepavicin with ginger. Again, my Asian flair coming out, but uh, wild boar is a big fun one with me. Um, antelope, elk, a lot of duck, love duck. Um, you know what I don't like? I'm not, I don't want to bag on anybody. I just don't understand this whole shabu shabu thing. Remember I told you I'm big into Asian food, but steaming, boiling meat, I tried it three times. Not a fan, I'm not a fan. So if there's something that I don't like that people are doing with meat, freezing it, shaving it thin, and then putting it into broth, not my, not me, not, not my cup of soup. <laughs> <laughs> time no I don't have anybody with a boat take me out <laughs> hey you know what it really is good on a boat a chef sure. Sure. I cannot I have no idea why nobody wants to take me out on their boat when I cook it right then and there